get through about 166,000 disposable coffee cups a year, even though we try to use China as much as we can. Just taking that waste out of the system is fantastic, and you know, the Simply Cup scheme means that we do create a closed loop, and that no longer goes to landfill. We will be banging the drum for closed loop system and for the Simply Cup scheme across Cornwall and also with our friends in other visitor attractions. Well, Simply Cups, I think, will help us achieve this in providing a really sort of holistic solution from the moment cups are picked up right the way through the recycling process. And that is a nice sense of a guarantee that we can rest assured that these cups are indeed being recycled. Through the last year, we've expanded quite, quite a lot, actually. We've got pretty good coverage across the UK now. So at the moment, we have four partners. The Vale Waste Services, covering all of the Manchester and Bolton and surrounding areas. Premier Waste Management, covering Doncaster, Leeds, Sheffield and all of the North East. Devon Contract Waste, and they're going to be covering Devon and Cornwall. And then the other company is Jones of Wolverhampton, and they are covering the whole of the Midlands for us. The rest of the country is generally covered at the moment by ourselves. My business is predominantly a point-of-sale manufacturer in a niche environment working with beverage equipment in the main and working for brands such as Coke, Britvic, Nestle, Kenko etc. We're proud to be working with Simply Cups and what we've tried to develop is a product that works equally as a functional collection of cups, lids, uh, waste etc. but also becomes a piece of point-of-sale. The new R Cup's really exciting because it's actually going to be the world's first cup made from recycled paper coffee cups. It's going to be a showcase product to show the public what the circular economy is all about and how you can actually, believe it or not, take a cup, a paper cup, and turn it into something that's going to be useful and reused. So Loughborough University was the first university to sign up to the Simply Cup scheme. I can clearly see from today's conference that more universities have signed up and at next week's Green Gown Awards where we're a finalist for our cup campaign, again we'll be raising awareness of the, the Simply Cup scheme. So we have been running a cup return scheme at Reading and Leeds for a number of years. We collected over the course of the weekend 500,000 cups which formed six tonnes of material that could then go on for a second life. Festivals and events are quite enclosed areas, so they're great testing grounds for innovation. If you can offer an incentive like we can to have a deposit on the cup to come back to a central point, Simply Cups can then offer a clear audit trail of what happens to those cups afterwards. I think the takeaway from today really is uh, the fact that people need to be prepared for a challenge and roll up their sleeves. Uh, Simply Cups can help people with that through their learning with other customers. Uh, we need people to, to understand that there is a commercial benefit and an environmental benefit. Scaling up will mean for us that we can provide the scheme uh, more competitively and in the future it will mean that it's uh, a more simplistic system.